As eastern Kentucky begins the recovery process from the massive flooding, Wyland, Kentucky is picking up the pieces from the worst flood the community has ever experienced. I knew it was going to be bad, but to get in a house and be like it was, I didn't know it was going to be this bad, but it got about uh, almost three foot inside. Uh, we lost uh, everything on the bottom floor. We were able to save a lot of things by carrying it up, but we still feel so blessed and so grateful because a lot of people, my brother, lost everything because all their stuff is on the first floor. A lot of people lost lives and that's one of the things that's kept me going through all this is that when I have a moment where I want to cry or just say look at you know what I've lost. I've not I've lost things that are material things and can be replaced. Wayland Gym is operating as a distribution center providing cleaning supplies, clothing, food, and water. Wayland Gym is also coordinating volunteers for those that need assistance cleaning and removing debris. We need volunteers, and that's a very hard thing for me or my brother to ever say. We need something because we've always been ones that want to take care of ourselves, want to do it ourselves. It's even hard for us to ask one another for help because it's just hard asking other people for help. But we are so blessed that we've had people that want to come in and help us and do that. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialists and subspecialists collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is the Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. While donations have made a significant impact on the well-being of flood survivors, volunteers are still needed to assist in the cleanup process. I just think it's important for other people. I mean, you never know when you're going to need a hand, so um, helping other people is really important in this community, especially this community here. Uh, right now, there's not a whole lot of people. I mean, people are dealing with the loss of their homes, um, the loss of loved ones, so they're out doing other things, so people who um, were blessed and not had that stuff taken away, um, were able to come out and help. While many residents suffered the loss of their homes, vehicles, and other possessions, the community has kept a positive outlook. I was walking through the kitchen and I just happened to look up over the doorway and it's a plaque that I have and it just kind of caught me and I was like, that's exactly what all this is about. And uh, so it's the most important things in life aren't things but it's those memories and those moments. If you would like to volunteer, visit Wayland Gym in Floyd County or your local community center for placement. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.